Lesson 88, Graphing and Solving Linear Inequalities. So the way I taught this or like to teach it is we have our coordinate <coughs> plane. Here's x, here's y. So if you can shade, you shade to the right if you have x is greater than. You're going to shave up above the line if you have y is greater than. You'll shade below the line that you graph if you have a y is less than, and you'll shave to the left of the line if you have an x is less than. So, well, and I'm going to give you examples, but this is kind of the direction you want to go. <coughs> if you have a less than or greater than sign, the line that you graph will be a dashed line will not be solid. <coughs> it's like an open circle when you're doing on a number line. If you have a less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, the line will be solid. So you'll draw the, the, the line like you normally would. So if I have y is greater than x, and I want to graph that on the coordinate plane. So first of all, you're going to draw the line y equals x. So I'm just going to put step one, draw y equals x, and then make sure it's dotted or dashed. Okay? So you have to, you, you look at it and say, oh, it's greater than. Okay, it's dashed. Then you pretend you're doing the equals. y equals x goes right through the center. So if x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. And then you just draw this dashed line through those two open circles that you just drew. And I did open circles because it's a dashed line. It's not going to be solid. So it's y is greater than. So if you look up of our diagram here, it says that we need to graph above the, we need to go up above the line when y is greater than. So here's our line. We're going to graph above it. And there's our graph. And you can always check a point. So let's say if I want to check this point here, x is 0 and y is 1. And if I plug it in, 1 is greater than 0, and it works. So where you shaded should work. If you pick a number down here, say we did x is 1, y is negative 1, this point would not work because negative 1 is not greater than 1. So everywhere you shade, any point in this region will satisfy that inequality. Okay, and then we're going to do one more example. Andrew? So will it like, ever ask us, like, so last year it asked us to like, do two equations? That's a different okay. lesson. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's, it, they always do one first and then they'll combine and do two. So if you will solve for y first in this case, so we need to subtract x. And then you have to remember that if you have to divide or multiply by a negative number in an inequality, the inequality will flip over. Okay? If you add or subtract, it stays the same, just like here, we just subtracted, so we're fine. But if for some reason, like maybe this was a negative y, if you multiply or divide by negative, you have to flip the sign. So the first thing is we're going to draw y equals negative x plus 7, and the line will be solid. So we're just going to graph it just like we normally would graph a line. The y-intercept is 7. That just means when x is 0, y is 7. And the slope is negative 1, so I go down 1 and to the right 1. So when x is 1, y is 6. And I just draw, actually, when y is 0, x will be 7. So if I put that dot in there too, I can draw my line. 
and it says here that y is greater than or equal to. From my diagram, whenever y is greater than, I'm going to shade up above the line. And so above goes here. And then you can test a point just to make sure. And that's the end of that lesson.